Well, good morning, class, and I want to apologize, first of all, because I made a mistake, and I told you folks the last class that we would have no more classes. But uh, there is one additional class. It's supposed to be on November the 22nd, and it would be in our classroom. But since you may have already made plans and different things have happened since then, all I'm going to do is go over what we would have went in class, and then you can watch this and then follow up on the other things that are due for the rest of the class. So there will be no more class, just like I said before, but I do want you to watch this video because it's what I would have done in class if we would have, if I would have had class. So uh, what this class is all about, this particular session, this is session 14, week 14, is all about finals. That is the finals that are coming up in your other classes. <clears throat> and so basically this class was designed to help you understand the importance of finals and the fact that you know you need to be studying and that kind of thing. So um, finals week, yes, and it's really important to uh, you know the first semester you're in college is usually the hardest because you're trying to get used to all these different changes and things that are going on in your life and and school is one of the biggest ones. So. Uh, just hopefully by now you've developed some good study habits and some things and so maybe this uh, this will be a little repetition uh, so anyway finals week study goals uh, and this PowerPoint that I'm looking at had a link to what was considered the final week schedule and <clears throat> all I'm going to tell you is is that finals week starts on for this semester December uh, 2022 starts on Monday the 5th and goes through the 11th. So Monday the 5th through the 11th December, these are the times in which finals are offered. And you really need to talk to your individual instructor in each of your individual classes and they will let you know specifically what you need to be doing with respect to those dates and when your finals are and so on and so forth. But you should probably know that already. Now, this is something that uh, just again, it was in the PowerPoint. So what tests or papers have you got remaining? And um, basically, you know, staying up with all these things is really a good idea and trying not to, uh, you know, cram everything in the last second. That's really what this is all about. Okay, <clears throat> pay attention to deadlines. Uh, and if you're uncertain about a, a, any type of uh, finals time or any deadline or whatever, just ask your instructor, email them. They'll get they'll get with you. And if they don't get with you, you contact me. I'll contact them, and then they'll get back to you. Okay, so remember that. Um, see, remember not to rely on activity stream. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means, except uh, I'm sure that if you're taking any classes that are online, like this presentation, uh, you want to make sure that uh, that you can get to the thing that you need to do for the final. And then this is a repeat of what we did uh, before, but this is uh, how to figure out your GPA. So if you're taking one, two, three, four, if you're taking five classes, and each one of them have three, three, four, three, and one credit hours, and you receive a C, B, D, E, or an A in these classes like this list has here, then you would just take, for example, you would take the three hour credit times the uh, the grade point that you receive for each of these, you know, C is a 2, a B is a 3, a D is a 1, and E is a 0, and a A is a 4, and you'd multiply the 3 credit hours, for example, in this case, times the uh, 2 GPA points for that C, and come up to 6, you then do that for every one of those classes, and then sum all these things right here, and then <coughs> you'd have the total uh, hours 14 and the total weighted number of grade points that you just calculated a second ago and you would take 23 divided by 14 and your grade point average would be 1.64 which ooh, ooh, puts you on for probation so you don't want to get that so you don't want anything below a 2 right 1.64 is puts you below the 2 and then we do have lots and lots of resources you know you've got the TLC Center for tutoring you got counseling, you can talk to your advisor, you can go to the financial aid office and that kind of thing, so on and so forth. So there's we have lots of resources for you. And then 
Uh, let's see what worked well this semester. Make a list of what worked well for you, uh, and you can keep doing it. You know whether it's you know, how you manage your time or your resources and so forth, or what can you improve on. You know, make a list, plan uh, things that you might want to change. You know, for the future semesters. This is assuming that you still really want to continue in the spring semester and then maybe eventually get your degree, right? Okay, I'm not going to ask you to do this 60-second exit paper. I'm not going to ask you to do that. Uh, and that's all I have, really. So uh, just continue on with the rest of the schedule. I think there is a quiz that's for this Chapter 14 week. And then I know that the last thing that you'll be doing, which is I have the little schedule right here in my hand. If you don't have a copy of the schedule, then you can email me, and I'll make sure you get a copy of it. But for the very last week, uh, it would be uh, not a, no class. It would be uh, getting your uh, academic plan from your advisor and then submitting it to me for a total, you know, to, to get your final total points for this class. So again, the last thing you want to do uh, for this class is to uh, get your academic plan together and then have that somehow sent to me, uh, the email, or whatever, and I'll take it from there. So that's all I have for you. I hope you had a good semester. And uh, when you get this, uh, I hope you get a chance to watch it and go through it because we will not have class on the 22nd of November, which is a Tuesday. And so uh, good luck to all of you.